Science. Hundreds of millions of people fleeing storms, droughts or floods caused by climate change could end up trapped in disaster areas. That's the assessment of the British government's Foresight Group. Many of the people may end up moving from areas hit by global warming to areas that are even worse affected, such as coastal cities in the developing world that are at risk from rising sea levels. Professor Richard Black led the research. Although um, climate change uh, increases in floods and droughts and storms are likely to cause people to move, it's also the case that uh, many people are already moving towards areas that are really quite vulnerable to those climate-related climate events. And in addition, there are probably many millions of people who are likely to be trapped in vulnerable places. So we need to widen the scope of our understanding about the relationship between migration and environmental change. The authors of the report, Migration and Global Environmental Change, tried to analyze patterns of migration. Over the last four decades, mountain regions have been areas that people have been pretty consistently moving out of, except in North America. Um, in dryland regions around the world, there has also been substantial out-migration, and that's uh, got larger over the last couple of decades. But in low elevation coastal zones, in the world's deltas, for example, populations have massively increased, and a good part of that is because of inward migration. Now, many of those people are moving to some of the most vulnerable parts of the world, vulnerable, for example, to sea level rise uh, and also to uh, tropical storms and to flooding. So uh, it's very important to bear in mind that uh, uh, climate change, environmental change, isn't simply forcing people to leave vulnerable areas. It is also affecting some of the areas that people are moving into. It's not just a few thousand people who'll be affected. Scientists estimate between 114 and 192 million people were likely to be living in urban floodplains in Africa and Asia by 2060. It's very difficult to predict numbers of migrants into the future. As I say, that there are at the moment about 200, uh, 210 million international migrants in the world. And if we bear in mind that the world's population is growing, uh, we just uh, reached 7 billion population and it's expected that by 2060 there will be 9 billion people in the world. So even if international migration were to stay at the same share of the global population that it is at the moment, that's about 3%, we could expect another uh, 80 million international migrants by 2060. And it's very difficult to know whether climate change will increase that number or decrease that number. But what we do know is that under pretty much any scenario of the future, there will be large numbers of international migrants and migrants within their own countries. But there will also be many millions of people who are not migrating, but remain vulnerable to extreme climate events like droughts and floods and hurricanes and so on. Researchers say governments around the world should not try to stop migration. Rather, they should try and anticipate where it may happen and find ways of improving conditions, both in the places people are likely to leave and the places they'll go to.